The first part of the exercise is teaching your dog that they can move from side to side. So for this part, you're gonna need a footstool. Now what I want you to do is I want you to hold the treat in a very specific way. I want you to use your left hand. I want you to place that treat between your index finger and your thumb. Then I want you to rotate your wrist so that your palm is facing forward, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're going to invite your dog up on the stool. You're gonna use that treat as a lure and your little finger and your two other fingers are going to cup the side of your dog's head so that it kind of puts a little bit of pressure so that your dog will actually swing up beside you with its front two feet up on the stool. Holding the treat properly is a big deal. I want you to put that treat between your index finger and your thumb. And you're gonna be holding the treat like it's tweezers, okay? And this is really important because you need these three fingers to actually get your dog to do the rest of the behavior. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that treat, you're gonna put it in your fingers like this, you're gonna bring it down, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your wrist clockwise okay so it's gonna come this way and you see how my elbow rotated this way and my hand rotated this way so again let's take a look at that so if my hand is just naturally here here I got the piece of meat then what I'm gonna do is I'm looking up I'm, if I was looking at a clock I would be rotating my hand clockwise then my wrist is back this way so the dog can see the piece of food. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as a lure and the dog is gonna start eating that and as the dog starts eating that, I am going to start cupping my hand around their muzzle and putting a little bit of pressure and rotating. Okay, and that's how we get the dog in beside us. Once your dog is comfortably rotating around that stool in towards you, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna swap that footstool out for something lower. You can even use a telephone book that's got duct tape on it or a piece of wood. It's just something that's much lower than that stool. Next step is get rid of the telephone book or the piece of wood and just get your dog rotating in beside you on the flat. All right, so now what I need is I need Dory to be in front of me on my lap. So I'm gonna throw a treat so that Dory just ends up in front of me. There she goes, now she's gonna come back. Tweeze her fingers, here we go. And she comes in and she's beside me. So I'm gonna throw a treat again to reset her. Okay. I'm going to get a big fat treat that's easier for holding my hands. I'm going to bring the treat. Boom. There she goes. Now what I want to show you is, let's say your dog, a lot of dogs will stall out just on the side over here. So what do you do? Well, you've got to create momentum and you've got to create some motion. So the easiest way to do that is just create some space for your dog. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to throw that treat. Now I'm going to pretend like my dog isn't going to go all the way. So then what I'm going to do is take a step back and forward. Okay? So it's just one step back, one step forward. Okay? So my fingers, here she goes, and up. So what I've done is I've created the space that she needs in order to execute the behavior. Now we're going to look, take a look at that side step again. So I'm throwing my treat because I want my dog to be in front of me. I'm gonna have a treat in my hand. Here we go, here she comes, and she's inside me. Now this next time, I'm gonna add the motion of going sideways so that Dory time ends up where I want her and doing that side step, okay? So what happens is, 
if you start moving as the dog is starting to pivot in around you, that momentum says, hey, follow me. And that's how you get that side step, okay? In Caro, in the novice level, the dog has to be in a sit and then do the side step. And I want to show you how I do that. Your time. Come. So we get the dog in a sit. Then we have to get them in a stand. That's where your kickback stand comes in. Then you do that over their face and they will slide over. Okay, so let's look at that again. Story time. All right, so that's how you get that slide from for Caro for novice. Now in Caro, as you get higher, it's actually a moving slide, which is way easier, but that's gonna be another video, okay?